Hi and good evening. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for catching this on the replay. This is Esther from Stampin' Star Creations for my Facebook Live. Happy New Year! I am back after about a three week break which has been lovely and relaxing and now I'm back and I feel a little bit, ah! <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> anyway, I just kind of all geared up for um, doing some Facebook Lives and I just felt really uninspired tonight and everything I tried kind of wasn't working out. So I was like, just rein it back in, keep it simple. So that's what we're going to do. I thought I'd show you my lovely um, handmade Christmas cards that I've received and we're going to do something with the new Painted Poppies stamp set. I've not had a lot of play with some of the new stamp sets. I've been concentrating on clearing out my scraps. If you follow me on YouTube, you'll see that I've been... Um, making a lot of scrap cards. Excuse me, my chair is a bit uncomfortable and I'm slipping down. So, um, yes, I've been playing with a lot of scraps and I'm still playing with scraps. So I think I've got to get on with <laughs> introducing some new products so you know what's coming and what's now available to you. So um, thank you for those popping in and joining. In a minute, we will make a calendar. Um, sometimes it just gives a chance for people to have their notifications to go, beep, I'm on. And watching you can you can share this video out press a button somewhere and there should be a share option to do that I do try and load my videos onto YouTube so they'll be available there hi YouTube everyone say hi to YouTube <laughs> um, welcome welcome great to see you. I can see people coming on and say good morning it's great to have your company and I'm so glad that you could join me happy new year everybody I hope you had a great Christmas I hope you had a good new year and I hope it'll be a good new year for you yeah, good year, not new year. Let's get started. Um, good morning, good morning, everybody. Let's do a little quick roll call. Janice, Cindy, Maureen, Jeannie, Steph, and Vanessa. Anyone else want to say hello before I turn the camera? <laughs> okay, so in no kind of particular order, but I've kind of grouped these Christmas cards. Um, some of them, I got quite a lot of cards made from certain papers. I think it's called Brightly Gleaming. So um, you'll spot that when I go through the cards. Let's turn you around, spin you around. Are you ready to get seasick? Here we go. Okie dokie. I should set them off to the side, otherwise you get sneak peeks. Um, my mother-in-law does cross-stitch, so she made some cross-stitch cards, which she usually does for our Christmas. These are the ones that um, were given to my boys. Hi there, Wendy. Welcome. So they're very detailed and these lovely pretty ornaments on the front. And then we've got one here, nice Christmas tree with a little pearly star on the top. Good morning Sarah Jane. I'm just going through my handmade Christmas cards I got this year. And I just want to show you these because um, my son made this at school and they can, if you want to order them and get them printed you can. Um, my son's swapped Christmas cards which I thought was rather sweet. So this was one that my son um, made at school and it got printed and look, can you see the little char all the little characters peeking out from um, the tree which I thought was rather sweet so he, the youngest gave the older son this and then the older son gave the youngest son this one which he made which apparently have got elements from a game and stuff so they understand what that is I can see my mum and I can see my sister oh, a bit of a family affair hi there and this one came all the way from Australia, from a fellow demo. That's from Ellen. Thank you, Ellen, for my lovely sparkly Christmas card. This paper was gorgeous and, you know, it kind of speaks for itself. You don't need to do a lot to it to be able to jazz it up. This was from um, one of my downline. Look, look at the sparkle. I covered it all in the Winker Stella and Sparkle there. And she's kind of created this um, buckle and it's a Father Christmas card. How cute is that? This is from um, a pen pal friend of mine who we've been friends for years and years and she tends to hand make her cards so that was from my friend Jenny so thank you for that. This one is rather clever because this is a fun fold card. Hi Valeria, haven't seen you in ages, good to see you. Um, this is from Kay, Kay's watching at the moment and look he's even inside. There is a message but the message is in there. So how cool is that? Can you see that fun fold? And really alternative Christmas colours, which is, is really fun using that happy snowman. This was from one of my lovely customers, I think. Yes, this was from one of my ladies that come to my workshop. Shout out to Jackie. Thank you for this. She's embossed it and then she's cut out the inside and then used it in the back as well. 
So, um, a lovely idea. I don't think it's her original idea, but um, even so, it's nice to be able to share this idea. And we used this snow front um, stamp set in one of my day workshops last year in September. And now, gleaming paper. Here we go. Oh, you got one too. Oh, that's nice. Um, one of these, Ruth. Oh, that's kind. So this was, again, all the way from America. And this is using that gorgeous kind of two-tone ribbon. And the um, kind of, I like to call it dinosaur. <laughs> I know it's not dinosaur embossing, but... Um... Hi, Sarah. Yeah, aren't they? It was so nice to have a whole range of um, handmade cards. So for those of you who are joining, thank you for joining. Just to say, I am going to get stuck in and using this stamp set in a minute. I'm just showing off some of my Christmas cards because um, I took down all the decorations. Tried to turn the screen and lost you for a while, but you're back. OK, thank you, Janice. Welcome, Sharon. Lovely to see you on as well. So thank you to Annabelle for sending that to me. Um, this is from Janet. I don't know if Janet's on tonight with us. I love her cards. It's very simple. Um, yes, the snowman one was... Oh, you got the snowman one from Kate, yeah. Um, her style is clean and simple, but I love the fact that she can just add a little elements, have this kind of... Um, these hoops with the stitching and just use lots of bits and pieces to make it shine. It remind, Wendy says the hammered folder reminds her of snakeskin. Yeah, it can be anything you want it to be, can't it? It's quite a fun effect and it's a nice emboss. So thank you to Janet for that one. And this is from another one of my customers. This lady, she I love her style. She just throws everything at a card and makes it look lovely. And this is from my friend Jo, who's been coming to my classes since I started. And um, it's great to see her, her um, inspiration grow and her, her skills. And she loves trying things out. That's what I like about Jo. So well done, Jo, for for that and thank you for my lovely Christmas card and she's used the the punched the duo punch there and used all these little elements to decorate the um the baubles uh I don't know if Ellie's on tonight this is from my friend Ellie um again a fellow Stampin' Up demonstrator and using again these lovely bauble shapes um but using them with the designer series paper and I'm just looking closely to see how she's done this the strings she's obviously drawn drawn those on but really effective like hanging from a frame oh okay welcome Kay can see comments at last hurrah so talking about painted poppies I'm running a class locally in um, February for this stamp set so I'm doing a three tier class which means if you order the bundle so this stamp set with the matching dies you can come along to my class for free um, you can order just the stamp set for the cost price plus five pounds of the workshop or you can just come to the class and have a little play so those are the three tiers if you're not local to me but you still are a customer or want to be a customer of mine and order this off me you can still these tiers still apply um but i will send um a kit for you to make up some poppy cards for an extra five pounds so just if you if that's confusing, just message me and I'll I'll message you the details depending on what you want to do. Okay, so that's that's that. Okay, um, today I want to create a calendar. Now I was going to do something a bit like this, which I did in my class, and I'd written out all the instructions. I needed to edit it them a bit because I realised that I was bits missing on the instructions. Um, but I don't know. I was just feeling a little bit. I think it's because it's kind of getting back into it a little bit, not overwhelmed, but just um, not sure about exactly what I wanted to do tonight. So rather than totally recreating this, I'm going to take the style and I want to introduce you to Painted Poppies and really work with this set instead. Because like I said, you know, we're going through the new catalogue season and I wanted to show you what you can do with this stamp set. So welcome, Brenda. Good to see you. Um, I like to use a, a layer of Whisper White. Uh, you're going to ask me what it is now. Let me just check on my trimmer. It's three and seven eighths by five and five eighths, I think is this measurement, um, which in the UK fits our A6 cards quite nicely. Hi there, Janice. I'll be using our stamping blends. And it's really weird going back to these colours, real red and shaded spruce, because these are very Christmassy colours. And I use quite a lot of Christmassy colours at 
Christmas time. So I've got my little scratch sheet here of my kind of rough design of what I'm going to do because I like to sometimes work with some kind of inspiration or give it a play to make sure it works out. Sometimes you just need to have a play first. Sometimes you, you can be ad hoc and you feel creative. Other days, not so much. <laughs> So I'm going to draw the poppies down a little bit because by the time I add the other elements onto my card um, the poppies disappear so I didn't want to hide them too much. I'm using black memento ink and this is a new one and it tends to be a little bit overly inky. I've got to go a little bit steady with that and I'm just going to eyeball the sides and just stamp to the end of each side of my page with this lovely poppy stamp. I really like this one. Lots of poppies. Okay, and then I wanted some detail at the top of my page, so I'm going to use the this poppy here, which is like a half poppy, <laughs> and we're going to introduce this to the top of the page. Now I'm going to do one in the center, and then I can work around that one to create some other poppies around it. I could go down the side a bit. I think we'll go down the side. Just close the gap a little bit. Welcome Janice. Okay, so I think that is it for my stamping on there. Now, is this going to be big enough for what I want it for? Let's have a look. Just about. I might, in this case, I'd normally recommend stamping first and cutting out later, but because the space of the paper is quite tight that I'm using I'm going to actually punch out first now those of you who have seen a paper punch um, it looks like this and the best way to determine where it's going to cut is to obviously turn it upside down and then you can see exactly where it's punching now if I stamped first it might be a little bit tight to get the correct positioning that's why I'm actually cutting it out first so I'm going to do all my inking in black and then we'll go in in the colour and sort out what we're going to do afterwards Right, I need to stand up for this bit and make sure I stamp roughly in the middle. I'm just going to flick that off. Okay, that will do. I've missed a little bit, but we're going to go with that. Um, what else did I want to show you? Anything else? No, that's it. Okay, I think... Right, now we're going to sort out colours. Hey there, Laurie and Joe. I'm going to be using dark real red and light real red. And I like to use my thicker end to colour these. Now, when I got this poppy set, I did say I'm a bit of a non-traditionalist when it comes to colouring things in sometimes. I like to go a bit rogue and go against tradition and not do things as they are. But I know that some of you out there <laughs> like to have things a bit more realistic and like things that are supposed to be read to be read, naming no names. Um, <laughs> if you watch this, you know who you are. So for all those people that are more realists, show of hands, who's a more kind of realistic kind of person, likes to stick to the colours, or are you more of a kind of, like to experiment with other colours? What are you? Let me know. What kind of crafter are you? So I'm just going to go back in with the dark to highlight a few more areas. So namely the centre and then just the um, sides. Hi Joe, welcome. Me, says Sharon. Me as in which one? Realist or um, what's the other one? Okay, then we're going to do some colouring on here, methinks. In fact, I might as well do these poppies. So this brush tip is great for doing quick colouring. There you go. I like to do quick colouring. Steph says she likes to do hers purple. Sharon is a realist. See, for people like you, Sharon, it depends on the day, says Cindy. Depends what I feel like. <laughs> yeah, today I'm not feeling 100% inspired. So I'm like, do you know what? Let's keep it real. <laughs> Janice says, you mean poppies are meant to be red? Valeria likes to experiment. I do normally, I think because I've done it in other colours already, I'm allowing myself to be realist today. I do like leaving a white gap. 
I'm not just saying that because I'm a lazy colorina. I'm saying that because I like the look of it. Just go as the mood takes me, says Brenda. I'm a realist until I stuff it up, says Vanessa. <laughs> Hi, Jeannie. Okay. And then, I like that. That's quite cool. Can you guys see that? I'm busy colouring and I can't even see what's... Um... Okay, so... I might do the same with these poppies. Just literally go in quickly. <laughs> Quick colour. And use, use that brush tip. There we go. Speedy colouring. I like to experiment with colours, but I love blue poppies as they are for remembrance for animals lost during the war. Ah, says Kay. She didn't say that R bit, I said that. I've done yellow, purple and orange poppies. Do you know what? I was going to do orange and yellow tonight. But then I thought, if I'm going to have this calendar in my house somewhere, I want to be able to put it somewhere where I'm going to use it. And my kitchen is all red, so it's going to go in my kitchen. I decided. So this is shaded spruce and I'm just literally following the stems just like that. There we go. What's the best way to order the blender colours? So blends come in dark and light. Now I personally like to go in dark first and do your outliney bits. Go light and then I really do go back with the dark but like you saw with that one I did go back to, to the dark so I tend to do dark and light that that's what I tend to do I am tempted now to just color in these gaps Welsh poppies are yellow and orange oh hi Debbie good to see you I'm gonna color in these gaps here there we go And then I want to use this splatter stamp. Now I want to use, oh, I just thought I could use this one as well. Hmm, choices. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's do both. I'm going to use this splodgy stamp, <laughs> technical term. And um, just, I want to fill in, ah, that's that's good. That's what I want to do, just fill in some some of the white space on the bottom to ground the poppies as if they're growing from a field or something rather. Let's draw you up a little bit. And then I want to use the splatter stamp but I don't want to go too heavy so I'm going to stamp my ink off once and then go in with the remaining colour onto my my card. Stamp off, stamp on. A bit like waxing your car. <laughs> now I'm trying to turn it a little bit so it doesn't look as if they're all going in the same direction. Seth says, I even dropped some dots of glossy accents on top of it to make it look like raindrops. Oh, now we don't have glossy accents, but what we do have is um, a fine tip glue pen. So if you want to make things look glossy or pick up, uh, make them look shiny, you can do that. Now I'm noticing the time is speeding away with me tonight. Um, okay, let's move on, shall we? So I think that that's what I want to do for that. Now... Because I'm trying to avoid making new scraps, I'll just tell you what I've done. I've got a basic black card and punched it out with a two and a quarter um, inch punch. So I've got a black card and then this is the two inch punch, yes. Joe says, I like whatever colour I have close to hand. Poppies come in so some lovely colours. I have a Patty's Plum Poppy, which is a dark purple. That sounds beautiful, dark purple. Do you know what? I did consider dark purple. But again, I just, I'm just coming back to traditional colours. Now, I like to use these little um, calendar tabs here, which are rather handy. And I've cut out, <laughs> I feel like I'm on Blue Peter. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, it's a, it's a program in the UK that, you know, it's a children's program, uh, informative children's program. And they go, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> I cut out this, this layer here, it's two by three inches. And that kind of sits quite nicely around my little tab calendar there. Now, to finish this beauty off, I'm going to show you how I cut down my card. And what this extra bit is for. 
So, um, what am I doing? Let's just move the stamps out of the way. I have been known to get things a bit inky. So I'm going to score the long side in half. I've got to find a half mark. I'm not going to give you the measurements for that. Um, you've got to work out for yourself. <laughs> I tend to just mark my, my cutter, which helps. And then I'm going to cut down the short side in half. So you can get two calendars out of one or two card folds, basically. So you've got um, an A6 size card. Okay, and then here's one, another one I made earlier. Where do you get the calendars from? I actually got these from my boss. She mass ordered them from a stationery company. Um, I know... When I've done these before, people have asked, um, Vanessa, you're in, you're in, the, you're in the UK, aren't you? Um, I, I probably will have some spare if you get in touch with me. I've got a class on Friday, but after that, I might have some spare, so I might be able to give you some. Um, I think the the works sell them. Possibly Wilco's used to sell them, um, or just look online. Are you in Aussie? Oh, I didn't realise that. Why did I think you were local? I'm getting you mixed up with another Vanessa. Try eBay or Amazon. I, th I think they're called tab calendars. Yeah, try Amazon. Then they're quite inexpensive, so. Right, so this piece here measures four inch by four and one eighth. Now, I know some of you don't like inches, but some, I mean, for this kind of measurement, it's quite easy. Or you might need one of these fancy rulers to tell you. <laughs> That's got all the little increments. So four inch by four one eighth. Then the four inch side you want to score in half, so it's two inches. Now, honestly, if I can do this, then so can you. And then um, Valeria helpfully says you can print them um, online as well. And then on each end, you just want to score a half an inch. Turn it and score half an inch. Now the way we're folding this is what I'm going to call an M M fold M for mum mother. So we're folding these two flippers out. I'm going to try and make this easy for you to remember. We're folding the little flippers out. Is that an M? Not quite. No, it's not an M, is it? More like a I don't know W a V. <laughs> Fold the two little flippers outwards. There you go. Just remember the flippers, okay? Now what this does, it just helps you find the glue. It doesn't help you find your glue. I'm just saying that. Um, this helps that when you stand your card up, you don't get that happen to it. A W, Wendy says. Went W for Wendy. It just gives you that sturdy middle bit in here to to stand up your um your calendar and also watch do you see that it folds nice and flat so if you want to put it through the post or fold it flat for whatever reason you can janice says it's a valley fold the trouble with when i start talking about mountains and valleys i get confused which one's a valley and which one's a mountain so i stick to uh just i don't know making up my own rules <laughs> so i'm going to open the card and stick one glued end this is tricky to show you but i'm going to try now it doesn't quite reach end to end it just tucks inside so don't feel that you've got the measurements wrong or anything it's just short of the the um the measurement of your of your a6 card okay so i'm sticking one side down i'm going to flatten this side and bring the other card to it and flatten that down like that okay yeah, valleys and mountains and hot dogs and what is it? Hot dogs and something else. They all get me confused. What's the other one? Hot dogs and something. Oh, look, I've gone and let's wiggle that over. All right, let's turn that round. Make that at the back. <laughs> when he says visit Ruth, you'll know which is which because Ruth is in Wales. <laughs> okay, now we're going to get sticking here. How are we doing for time? Let's speed up the process a wee bit. There we go. A little bit of glue on the back of there. Now, incidentally, um, oh, <laughs> boo boo on that side. Obviously, use that for something else. Um, 
I managed to hot dogs and burgers. Thank you, hot dogs and then but but oh, I don't know. See, I get confused which which way's which. Um, so I had one of these um, calendars as a swap. I think it was a couple of years ago or last year, and I managed to take the calendar off and then put another new one on. So you can do that. Don't feel like you're wasting the whole thing. But it is sat there for twelve months. Let's face it. So, hey Cassie, great to have you company. Now I'm gonna see what I mean about covering up the poppies. You could swap it round, but I think it'd look a bit odd. Maybe just come up a little bit more with the calendar. There we go. Stick this one down, and then we're gonna pop up the uh, what do you call it? Poppy with dimensionals. Pop a few of these on the back. My nails have been cut short, so I'm finding it rather difficult to do lots of things, like picking up the back of dimensionals. Okay. It covers up that poppy at the top, but never mind. We'll go with it. Righty ho ho. I love this idea, says Vanessa. Oh, look. <laughs> I'm giving all my secrets away. <laughs> I thought, oh, I don't think I'll use that, so I'm going to cover it up. Right, Wendy says, hot dog is portrait and burgers are landscape. It's how you hold them when you eat them. Oh, I see. <laughs> now, I'm thinking, before I stick this, it might look nice. She says, it's a bit late now, Esther, to have a black layer. Sorry, I shouldn't have left it so last minute, but I am going to. Now, if that's three and seven, this is going to really test me now. Three and seven eighths, so that would be four inches, I guess. Let me just double check my... Yeah, we'll do four inches. By, I usually eyeball things, I don't usually measure. If that's three, um, five and five eighths, it'll be another... One of those. <laughs> oh dear. Hopefully, hopefully, let's just check that's right before I turn it over and stick it down. Oh yeah, not bad, not bad. Make sure that I've not done it too big for the... Oh, it's a little bit... Let's have a look. A little bit close to cool, isn't it? Oh, let's do it. We're running out of time, people. Okay, so let's just re-glue this. Don't need as much glue. Whoa, upside down, a little bit tricky to look at upside down. So if anybody has stumbled across my page, or maybe the page was shared or something or other, you can follow me, you know, and like my page to catch my videos. I tend to come on a Tuesday. I'm back now doing my Facebook Lives unless I have a meeting or something comes up. I do a Facebook Live every Tuesday starting 8.30 and then I plan to head over to YouTube in a mo. Got to think about what I'm doing over on YouTube. Um, there we are. Yeah, I might just need a few minutes to think about what I'm doing before I go over there because I'm not... I feel like I haven't got my head screwed on today. I was back at work today. I'm a bit... Um, there! I think it looks so much better with a bit of a black background first and then the red. So now I'm all ready for the rest of the year with my calendar using the new painted poppies stamp set. And that will sit, no, that will sit nice. I'm not going to show you too much of my desk because it's a bit of a mess. That sits nicely and folds flat. There, what do we reckon to that? Now I will try and get the directions, um, directions. I'm not telling you where to go. Instructions <laughs> sorted out on a PDF and, and sorted out. It's here, look. This is for this one, but I think I'll change it so it's a bit more generic. So, Wendy says, Ruth told me, oh, oh, no, pressed the wrong button. Ruth told me last night and you found me today. Ah, oh, thank you. For those of you who know Ruth, I'm the youngest sister, Esther. 
Oh, thank you, Kay. Kay says, a really lovely project. Thank you for sharing. Great idea, says Cindy. Fabulous. Okay, let's see if I can turn you guys round. Thank you, Brenda. Brenda says, great project. Good to see you. So, here's today's project. Calendar. Hopefully it's not too late for calendars. Hopefully you've still got space somewhere in your house for another calendar. So, I'll be hopping onto YouTube in a minute. Um, I might continue playing with painted poppies. I've got no idea. Oh, no, I knew what I was going to do. I know what I was going to do. I forgot. <laughs> because I'm a bit out of inspiration, I'm going to show you something that I've been, I played with and recreate it. So, if you want to see that, head over to YouTube. Same channel name, Stampin' Style Creations. Hi, Deborah. About to hop off, Deborah. Looks a lovely set. Looking forward to seeing it soon. Thank you, Joe. So, don't forget, I've got that offer in February. So, um, I'm doing a three tier workshop if you're local or if you want, if you're a customer and want it posted to you, I'll um, send you some bits and pieces to go with that. But just message me for details if you want and I'll send you this. In fact, I'll put this on my page, my web page. So if you're interested, you've got all the details on there. Cool. Great stuff. Thank you so much for your company. It's great to have so many of you on tonight watching and um, head over to YouTube. Find me over there. I'm going to have a sip of tea and get my desk a little bit clearer and then we'll see what we can come up with over on YouTube. Take care. Hopefully I'll see you again next week. God bless. Bye for now.